Pinapresensya mo ba yun? Oo oh. Saan mo kinuha? Sila ang pumuha dyan mismo sir Sino ang pumuha ah, para sa'yo? Ako po Ako po Kinuha na nila Nag-appeal ka ba? Sa LTO? Hindi, hindi Para mag-tingy ang print at saka Hindi na Kaya dyan sila ang nagpamali sir Kaya ay, mukhang peke yung lisensya mo manong Oo, oh, okay, na, okay na yung sir Oo, oh, amin naman ako doon Kaya nga yun So, sa dali, iyaano lang natin sa importo Instead of being embossed text, someone has actually scratched it by hand to make it feel embossed or raised. As I've shown in the past, they do coordinate with LTO over the phone. They even get a printed certification to say the license is fake. Pababa po kayo dyan sa sasakyan nyo. Kasi po yung pagdadrive nyo hindi po authority. Kayo, niimpawd po natin for keep saving. I saw that driver looking at the enforcers, but he's pretending he didn't see them. Number po din kayo sir, ano na, 780. Titikita na lang namin kayo sir ng UBDRP sir, ah, Unified Volume Reduction Program sir, ah. Babalik din namin sa isinyo. Babayaran nyo na sa Bayad Center, 7 days working days lang to sir, ah. So magkano yun? 300 po sir. If you have a nice vehicle like this, maybe you really won't care about a 300 peso ticket. I'm sure there's a lot more people brave to come out now that they know they can't be apprehended by cameras. If you look at the bus lane on EDSA, my goodness, you would think it really became a permanent motorcycle lane. They are not even slightly scared anymore. It's very hard to catch motorcycles on the EDSA bus lane because the majority of the time they will not stop reinforcers. They're flagging down the taxi, but from what I know, public vehicles are actually exempt from coding. So it must be a different violation. Maybe. Over speeding! Over speeding? Yes. So apparently the taxi was doing 71 kilometers per hour, apart from the seatbelt violation. What you'll see is the seatbelt is actually going behind the taxi driver. I would ask to see the picture to prove to you that the taxi was doing 71, but I don't want to disturb the operation. If you see the MMDA bus that's about to go past, that's uh, Libring Sakai. I think MMDA have allocated around seven or eight buses to supplement Commonwealth public transport. That one's flagged down. Obviously, there is a tricycle ban on Commonwealth. It's, you might say, well, when traffic's looser, speed up. Problem is, if you crash, you're going to cause hours and hours of traffic for everybody. Someone arrived now trying to make a regular about the vehicle that was impounded earlier for the fake license. He was name dropping a lot of people and the gentleman just disclosed that he bought that license for 2,000 pesos outside of an LTO office. I had to flag that one down. Is he gonna stop? It's a nice vehicle, really nice. Quite comfortable if you have yourself a driver. Are you going to ride this on a Wednesday and then take the bus on a Thursday? No way. You just take a ticket for 300 pesos. When it comes to coding, there's really more cars than enforcers to apprehend them. That's the reality. Look at how many vehicles are on the road and then you're going to try and flag them down one by one. You're really going to have a hard time.